way cheaper, way faster, and of a quality that nothing matched. They had uh, apps on Facebook that were given special permission to harvest data, not from just the person who used the app or joined the app. With the Cambridge Analytica scandal, a lot of people are worried about how the social media company might be scraping their data, and many are even deleting their Facebook profiles in protest. While deleting your Facebook profile makes little to no sense, there are other things that you can do to ensure that you give the bare minimum amount of data to the company. And that's exactly what I'll be telling you about today. Hey guys, this is Akshay from Bbound.com and today I'm going to tell you about some Facebook settings you should change right now to make sure that the company does not violate your privacy. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon? I promise we're not collecting data from that. Also, this video is sponsored by Nox Player, an Android emulator for PC and Mac that can emulate even the most demanding of games with ease. Now then, let's get started. First things first, there are a couple of things you should do no matter what including checking which apps and services have access to your Facebook data and limiting the way Facebook shares your data with websites and apps. You'll be surprised to see the sheer number of apps and services you've connected to your Facebook account over time. I surely was and it's important to clear this up to make sure that your data is safe. In your Facebook account, head over to settings and then click on apps. Here you can see the apps and services connected to your Facebook account. Go through them and remove the ones you don't use anymore. When you remove an app, you will be shown a pop-up that says that the app may retain data that it has already collected. That sucks, but at least it won't be able to collect more data as you keep using Facebook over time. Honestly though, this is something that's very important because a large part of how Cambridge Analytica collected data was in the form of apps and services disguised as personality quizzes and more. One thing I was surprised to find out was when your friends access websites and services with their Facebook accounts, sometimes Facebook shares your data as well with those websites. Data that you have unknowingly allowed Facebook to share with such websites. Creepy, yes, but there's a way you can put a stop to it. In the same menu, click on the edit button under apps others use. Here you can uncheck the data you don't want Facebook to share with other websites when your friends visit them. This way your data won't be shared with websites and apps that your friends use. Honestly, this was one of the more creepy things I saw on Facebook. Facebook also does this really tricky thing where it asks you for a buttload of permissions when you install its apps on your mobile. Probably something that most people don't pay attention to. Fortunately, this is also something you can fix, at least for the future. In the Facebook app, make sure you don't give contacts, microphone, SMS and telephone permissions to the app. If you've already given these permissions, you can head over to App Information and revoke them. The app may need storage permissions if you upload things from your phone and camera permissions if you use Facebook Stories or use the camera within the app to upload pictures or something. If you don't, remove those permissions as well. Similarly, in the Messenger app, when you're installing it, don't turn on text anyone in your phone. Don't add your phone number to the Messenger and don't turn on send and receive SMS in Messenger. If you've already installed Messenger, you can simply uninstall the app and reinstall it to opt out of these features. These permissions are why a lot of people are noticing that Facebook has their call histories, message histories and more all saved on its servers. These permissions are how Facebook gets that data, so just don't give it those permissions at all. Facebook survives on ads and it uses your personal data to target ads at you. While that is not something you can exactly stop, you can limit it to an extent, which is better than not limiting it at all in my opinion. In Facebook ad preferences, you can control the kind of data advertisers can target you with. You can also remove yourself from categories you don't want to be targeted with. For example, I'll remove my birthday month because I don't want to get shopping deals around that time and spend all my money buying stuff. Another really annoying thing is when my friends see a sponsored page with the line Akshay likes this. I don't like that and fortunately it is yet another thing I can opt out from. In Facebook ad preferences, I can simply set ads with your social actions to no one and I'm all set. 
While you're here, there are a couple of other things that you should change as well. Turn off ads based on your use of websites and apps, which Facebook serves by basically stalking you around the internet. Also turn off ads on apps and websites off of the Facebook companies to prevent apps that use Facebook's fan tools from using your data to target ads at you. There are some other things you can do to ensure that you share the least amount of data with Facebook about your activities on the internet. Fortunately, they are very simple to do as well. Firstly, don't log in with your Facebook account on third-party websites. If you do log in on a third-party website or app with Facebook, make sure you check the data it is taking access. You can also delete your uploaded contacts from Facebook. If you've ever used Messenger and allowed it access to your contacts, you will find your entire contact list on Facebook. I'll drop a link in the description that you can click on and see all of your uploaded contacts. Fortunately, Facebook lets you delete this as well in just two clicks. Click on delete all, confirm it, and you're done. The point is, Facebook has a lot of your personal data. It's basically a history of your life ever since you joined the social media platform. But don't take my word for it. You can even download a copy of your Facebook data from your account settings. But be warned, it will scare you. It scared me for sure. What shouldn't scare you is playing Android games on a PC or a Mac. That's what Nox Player is here for. Nox Player is an Android emulator available for both Mac and PC, and it works very well. The emulator is focused more on gaming, and I tried out a couple of games on it just for fun, and it all worked fine. With Nox, you can even run high-end games like PUBG Mobile on your Mac or PC. It's quite a lot of fun, and it's free. Check it out from the link in the description down below. Anyway, if you've been concerned with the kind of data you're sharing with Facebook and how the company is using that data, following these steps should definitely ensure that you share a lot less data with the company. So go ahead and change these settings on your Facebook account right now and share this with your friends because this thing is important. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel for more useful and amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.